Okay, uh, I'm, uh, I've been kind of taking a break from uh, investigating my house because of, you know, all the stuff going on uh, between uh, Russia and Ukraine and NATO and really been consuming a lot of my attention, as it should. Um, hopefully it's been consuming a lot of your attention also, but uh, there is still some things going on in my house. Um, so my wife is going out of town for a couple of days. Uh, I think she's leaving tonight, and I am going to conduct an investigation in my house. I'm going to run some apps and uh, see what kind of evidence I can I can record. Now, one thing that did happen um, that was fortunate because my this was my wife coming to me and telling me, um, you know, that she had witnessed something, uh, the same thing that I did. Uh, so that was promising to me. Um, that's not just me uh, experiencing it, but it was, um, you know, the chime doorbells uh, that have the cameras that come on when somebody rings the doorbell and, and there's it, it, it produces a, an audible chime. Uh, we don't have one of those, but we heard this chime uh, come out of our living room twice. And the first time I heard it, I said, what, what in the hell is that? And my wife said, I have no idea. She said, where did it come from? I said, it came from inside this room. And so we both got up and we went looking and we, we couldn't find any, any reason for this, for that noise. Uh, and about three hours later, we were both standing in the kitchen. She said, listen, there it is again. And I heard the last part of it that time. And she said, it sounds like a chime doorbell. Our, our landlady has a chime doorbell. And when you ring her bell, that's what it sounds like. Um, now, she's 300 yards away from us. So we aren't hearing her doorbell. Uh, and so it was just perplexing. We, we couldn't figure out where this was coming from. Uh, well, before that, I had uh, recorded, and I'm going to put the what I did record the night before that, uh, in the next video, um, my sister-in-law, I asked her if she was here and she said yes. And I heard it with my ears and I also recorded it. So that was really good evidence, really good evidence capture right there. Uh, but that night we had all kinds of stuff going on. I was hearing people talking. Um, I was hearing people talking in my master bathroom that was empty. Uh, that's what, uh, got me to start recording. I went out and told my wife, I said, look, don't say anything. Don't talk. Mute the television. I'm going to record for about five minutes, see if I can catch this. And that was when I caught my sister-in-law answering my question. Um, so the two days prior to hearing that chime, we were, uh, or I was hearing um, a lot, like a lot of people talking. It's not like people standing outside my house. If you have someone that stands outside a window of your house, like two people and they're talking, that muffled kind of the voices, the way they're muffled, that's what it sounded like, but there was no one outside my house. Um, so uh, I that kind of started to get my attention, and then we heard the chimes, and then everything just kind of took off, and now it's starting to kind of slow back down again. It's like they expel a lot of energy uh, to try to get our attention and then they use up so much of it then they got to kind of bring it back reel it back in and um, kind of gain some more uh, energy before they you know exhibit themselves again uh, so uh, and I was seeing uh, I've told you before in other videos that I corner my eye I see something scurry across my floor um, this time it was white normally it's black uh, this time it was white uh, it was very clear out of my peripheral vision that scooted across my kitchen floor and it kind of reminded me of my landlady has a cat that's a huge cat this cat is like 35 pounds and just massive and he's all white and that's what it looked like and I was like did her cat get in our house so I went looking around and I mean I knew it was a stupid um assumption that her cat her cats never gotten in our house you know but I got up and looked anyway because I was so sure of what I saw that uh, I really knew that, that I had seen something, that, uh, that something had made itself known. Um, and, of course, I didn't find anything. So with my wife going out of town tonight, I'm going to run my GhostTube box app 
side by side with my parrot app. I'm going to run some video and I'm going to see what we can get to fall out of this tree. I'll talk to you later.